And there it is. Kill the cancer. I was so scared and I didn't know what was gonna happen and it was really hard for me at eight years old to sit through and come to terms with. It's gonna be okay, I love you. You're the best. I was worried about the kids and how they were gonna handle it. I think that was my biggest worry, aside from what was gonna happen with the cancer. When I found out about Ceres, I was so excited just to hear that there was a place that could help bring food to my family and help nourish them in a time when I really didn't have the energy um, to get out of bed sometimes. I remember being so excited when I would hear the doorbell ring uh, because I could go talk to the people from Ceres. Um, and all the people who would deliver the meals to our doorstep were so kind. and. I was eight years old and I was running up to the door and I was so excited to talk to them because they're just lovely people. So, well, I like to talk about Ceres as um, bringing healthy food to people and looking at healthy food from soil to community. We have a dual mission at Ceres and that is to teach teens how to cook and to serve seriously ill people in their homes. So the youth get to participate, I always say the youth participate from the soil to the community part and really get to learn all pieces of it. And that's really what I think we need is a, a whole generation of super engaged youth. When I was 16, I got my driver's license. And that very day there was a series volunteer orientation. So my first ever car ride by myself with my license was to a series orientation. So series teens, get they can work in either the kitchen or the garden or both they alternate between kitchen and garden and that's the richest learning experience in a way we compost all of our um, food scraps they go back to the garden the teens are introduced to that whole food cycle and composting and growing food learning that gardening teaches you about observation and slowing down a little bit so that you can tune into what's going on with the plants or with the water. And so there's just this deeper kind of way of being that I think gardening offers to the youth. We just served our millionth meal and uh, after almost 14 years um, we are serving more clients than we ever have. All of our meals are medically tailored, which means that they are nutritionally analyzed to serve the majority of the clients that we serve now who are battling diet-related illnesses. The thing I think about the most around food as medicine is why is food not medicine? Like, why isn't food nourishing and healing to us? And like, where did we get sidetracked that food became something that made us sick? Like what a weird, horrible sidetrack for us as a human race. Food has lost like 60% of its nutritional value, especially around minerals and antioxidants and phytochemicals. And um, that's based, that's because of industrial agriculture. And so, you know, we want to put nutri nutrients back in the soil and make the soil really alive and healthy so it can produce healthy food. We believe that teens are the architects of the future and we must teach them as much as we possibly can and treat them with the respect they deserve. Yeah, when I think about the future of Ceres, being the garden program manager, I get excited about really being a model for the world. We teach all these skills, so they learn about cooking, they learn about gardening, but I think really the depth of what they learn about is that they can make a difference in the world. So they feel empowered, they get to meet clients or people who come out um, have gotten the food and they get to be you know the clients come in and say you help you know save my life and I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Ten years ago I felt helpless like I felt like I couldn't do anything for my family because I was only eight years old and I couldn't make big meals for our family and I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do and luckily Ceres was there to be able to do the things that I couldn't do for the family and so now I can do for others what Ceres did for me. 